UK Barn Finds and welcome to another edition of Hammer Time. And for those of you who haven't seen Hammer Time before, this is where we get in our little van, we visit classic car auction venues and show you some of the atmosphere, some of the setup there, and most importantly, because I know you all want to know this, <laughs> some of the prices. So where are we today, Claire? Well, I think that's a bit obvious, Elton. We're at Anglia <laughs> Car Auctions. Oh, yeah. Kings Lynn in Norfolk and it really is to be fair our second home. They've been described to me this week as mega and a real powerhouse in the classic car auction industry and they are. Their reputation is worldwide. Mm. They get cars from all over the place don't they? They do. And as you'll see when we go inside which is going to be soon because it's cold it's today. It's freezing. <laughs> um, some of this collection they've got in here are these barn finds they're amazing. They've been up to Scotland and basically raided the place. There are loads of them. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's do it. Freezing. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't not include this 1988 FSO Polonaise. I mean, take a look at it. We posted this up on our social media channels. And apart from the odd comment that did actually support them, I'd say the rest of them were quite unifying. There were things like hideous, revolting, put it back in the barn scrap now i'm going to come back to that one because scrap was the wrong answer i've just looked this is already at 1100 pound on the online bidding the auction isn't till tomorrow so i don't know where this is going to go have a type now tell me what you think it's going to be and then we'll, we'll show you in a minute obviously but i'm telling you now it started at 1100 come and have a look we might as well go under the bonnet first claire if you want you haven't seen this yet have you no it's um, an interesting car, shall we say. They were, I believe at the time, the cheapest car you could buy on the road. Um, cheap and cheerful? I don't know, you decide. The interior, come and have a look. I mean, it's got everything there. You quite liked the dash, didn't you, Claire? I did. Why? Um, because I love this grid sort of pattern on there. Excuse the dead spider. Do you want me to bid on yeah. it for you now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think we'll uh, I think we'll give it a miss. But seriously, um, we'd love to know your memories of the FSO Polonaise because a lot of people were talking about this. This was all over the internet. Good or bad, do you remember them? When was the last time you saw one? And that's probably what the auctioneer is going to say on the day. When's the last time you saw one of these? Find another. But let's go and see what it sells for because this is going to be interesting. So the FSO Polonaise next. Obviously it's an on-runner so it's outside. They're selling it off the screen here. 312 gentlemen and the FSO the Polonaise. I remember these. Remember these? They were brand new for about 400 quid weren't they? And they wouldn't go for an MOT when they were new. They were worn out before you start. <laughs> oh my God, £1,900 already. Where are all the people who said scrap? The FSO Polonaise, have a look at it. Garage find this, been dry stored from a deceased estate. You tell me, we've got a log book and we've got some keys. No reserve, I'm straight in at £1,900. There's no money for it. No money for it, according to Jeff. I'd say in bidding. £1,900. That £1,900 on sale and going, the FSO, make no mistake, 2000 bid. Where would you find one now? 2-1, two, one, two, one on bid. At 2100 I'll take 22 bid. At 22 at 23 The internet slated this. We tried to give it a chance and um, we're on the right side of it now. Bloody hell. 2600 already. At £2,900, I sell it away once. £2,900, the FSO goes twice. Third and last, sold 29 on the internet. My word, that was amazing. Great result. This is my choice, a 1959 Chevrolet Corvette C1. I love these dual headlamps and also this really toothy grille. It reminds me of the Milky Way red and blue car advert. Trees, but good old Will, he took the Milky Way. 
So this one's not quite as quick, is it then? No, because it has no engine or gearbox at well, the Well, no, because the blue car, it took the Milky Way, you see. Ah. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. <laughs> this one has no engine. It doesn't have an engine or a gearbox, which is Why a shame. Have a look inside there. Honestly, yeah, I, I think you'll like it. I reckon you'll bid on it. <laughs> no, I don't. Where are we going to put it? That's the problem. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful inside. All the styling looks like lovely leather seats, do you think, or vinyl? Of that era? Mm. Yeah, I don't know without having a closer look. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. But, but the colours are just absolutely spot on. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And isn't it an unusual car to see in a barn find state in the UK? Well, yeah, this one came from a Scottish barn find. Anglia Car Auctions went up there and made a number of um, extractions. And this was one of them. So there you go. 1959 Chevrolet Corvette C1 left hand drive it's a barn find how much do we think it's going to go for let's find out there we go lot 621 there the corvette the c1 1959 it's unregistered though this one it's full restoration no documents believed to be imported many years ago but what a stunning looking car my commission bids out we've got telephone bids on this one the internet likes it and we're straight in at £13,400. We were having a little guess on this, no one seemed to really know. I've gone about 22000 I think. May have been a bit generous with my guess, but we're straight in now, look, 13 4 before we've even started, so there's a chance. At 13,004, I'm bidding, I'm taking twos. At 13,004, I'm bidding now, then at £13,400 bid. Not, not happening at the moment. At 13,400 pounds, 36, there we go, A bid. Someone in the room now. At 14,2, thank you, at 14,2. I'm way off with my guess at the moment, but it really it was a guess. It's nothing to benchmark it against, it's really hard. At 14,600 pounds, don't leave it, Ned, if you want it, it's at 14,6. At £14,600, you've had your warning internet, the gavel's up then. Looks like it's going to somebody in the room. And we're selling standing in the room at £14,600, it's yours. 14,600, that's yours, sir. Brilliant. £14,600 plus fees. I'm so excited to have got this limo. For, I think I paid about 1750 for it. I'm not sure if Claire's as excited as I am about it. At 1750 it's gone then. At 1750 any more for any more once. 1750 twice. Goes away out the door. That's yours, Elton. Claire's just realised that I've bought the Volvo. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but come and have a quick look. I know it's not like barn fine thing, but this is about us as well. And we've already got a limo and that was one limo too many, but I'd seen this one before and I didn't bid on it and it came up for sale again. I know who bought it last time. So I know it's been looked after in the interim and I'm just really excited because that's lovely. 30 year old Volvo limousine for 1750 pound plus fee. So I can't wait to drive that one home. Awesome. We were watching the barn finds go through on the screens and all of a sudden I noticed the Series 1 Jaguar E-Type from the Scottish collection went mad. So I just had to grab the camera quickly. Then we go on to lot 618. There is the uh, E-Type Jaguar project. 1963 this one. We've got telephone bid interest. Interest all over the place on this. We're straight in online. 13, 14, 14, 2, 14, 4, 14, 6, 15, 5, at 15, 5, at 15, 5, at 15, 5, we'll take 250s, Fred. I wasn't going to film this, but this um, Project Jaguar is going a bit leery straight off the bat. 19, 5, at 19,500, 750. 20,000, still take 250s. Anyway, 20,000 pounds, oh my word. Love for somebody to tell us what, you know, what the bid bidding's all about on a car like this. How much is this worth restored? And how much would it cost you to restore it? 
At 22,000 pound we bid 250. At 22, 250, 22 and a half. Someone on the internet really wants this. And then saying that, so just to go on the phone. At 24, 250. This is a great, great battle, this. 24,500. At 24,500 pound bid, 750. Just did not see this one coming. 27,000 on the telephone today. At 27,000, two bids. Yeah. I don't know what to say at this point, I'll keep still. 29,000. 250. At 29,000 and a half, 750. Fill it up. 30,000 pounds. Sorry, I was saying most of us will be looking at the work involved, but obviously these people have got a longer vision than us. They'll be looking beyond that. At 32,000 pounds, it's gone a bit quiet here, 250. At 32, 250 bid now, then 32 and a half. Oh, slowing down on the internet and in the room. Remember, there's fees to go on this as well. At 35,250. 35 and a half. At 35,750. At 35,750. Looks like the internet's finally done it. At 35,750, the telephone's walking away, so it's 35,750. It is going once. 35,750 going twice. Yours outrides internet at 35,750. Yours it is. That's a result, I'm sure. I love these bubble cars, and I've got two here to choose from. I've got the Eye Setter, and I've got the Heinkel. I had to toss a coin to see which one to look at in more detail, and it was this one. So let's take a closer look. This is a 1959 Heinkel Cabine. It has a 200cc engine, a gearbox with four forward gears and one reverse. You see this soft canopy here? This actually has two functions. To go back to give you a bit of air and a bit of coolness in the hot weather, but also as an escape hatch. Just as well I didn't eat too many pies last night, Elton. I'm having to uh, slide myself <laughs> here through these two bubble cars. Diet's going well, Claire. It does go well. Right, I'm going to open the door now for the first time. Ah, yes, come here, Elton. <laughs> this one's definitely going to be a project because I don't think the engine is meant to be there. No, you're right. So as you can see, this is a left-hand drive, which I think in this size of car isn't going to make that much difference. And it's just something about these seat covers that looks familiar. Perhaps you can let us know in the comments. Yeah, that pattern is, it reminds me of something, Claire. Yeah. And I can't think what, so no. it's something from the 70s. <laughs> yes, it's very 70s. It's going to bug me. We'll think of it on the way home. Yeah. So there you go, 1959 Heinkel cabin, offered at no reserve. How much do you think it's going to go for at auction? Let's find out. So coming up is um, the Heinkel cabin, I believe it's pronounced, oh, yeah. Claire told me. Then we go lot number 601 now. We've got the Heinkel, the cabin cruiser. First registered 1959, got a letter from the DVLA. When restored, the original registration can be provided. Give me a good sort of insight into how it works here, look. This is being streamed at the moment. Engine running when it was stood up, we've got commission bid interest. Online is saying 3.9 and I'm saying 4,000 on commission and it's on sale. 4142 with me at 4,002, 4344, at 4,004, 4546, at 4647, 48, 49, 5,000, at 5,000. I bid now then at 5,000. I think these are internet bids coming in there. 5152 with me. At 5,002, I'm bid now at 5,253,54 with me. At 5,455,56. Wow. At 6,3, I'm bid now then at 6,3. At 6,3, I'm bid now. It's online, it's going once. 6,3, it is going twice. Last time at 6,300 pounds and selling. Yours it is, internet at 6,3. Thank you. So we're trying to feature a few retro cars, hot hatches and the like, and what better than this 1991 Vauxhall Astra GTE Mark II, it's a 16 valve, 
There's not a lot I can say about these cars that hasn't already been said. I'm sure there's nothing I can say. It looks absolutely immaculate. I love the look of this car. They, we know they're quick. They give pretty much any car of the year a run for their money. The guide price, and it's looking now 15 to 18,000 pounds, is quite strong, maybe, you might think. I don't know, tell me. But try and find another in good condition of this one. To give you a quick look around. So we have noticed a tiny little bit of broken trim there. I'm not sure how easy they are to get. The digital dash, we're told, is all working. That's quite important on a car like this. As well as the Clifford alarm, that if Claire doesn't hurry up, she may even set that off, because that would be awesome. We know it's got two fobs, which is good. Let's have a look at the seats. A car of 30 years old, you'd expect a bit of wear and tear, but to be honest, apart from the tiny bit of broken trim on one of the, the passenger seats there, we, um, we think this is in amazing condition. It looks so comfortable as well with those nicely trimmed bucket seats. And um, I don't know, what do you think of the interior, Claire? I think it's beautiful, I you're love the stripes. You're down on your knees looking at it, is that because you're praying to God that you can have it, or? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so there you have it, the 1991 Vauxhall Astra GTE Mark II 16 valve, guided at 15 to 18,000. Will it sell? How much for? Quickly type your answer below, let's have a look. Here comes the Astra GTE with nice little hot hatch. Lot 625 now is little Vauxhall Astra, the GTE 16 mile Mark II. First registered 1991 now, it's a, light, a late model there of the GTE. Two previous owners there, it's low mileage showing a mere 53,000. Where are we going to go with this one then? It's 10,200 straight in online at 10.2, looking four quick anywhere, but it's at 10.2, 10.4. This is guided to 15 to 18. Internet's already at 10.2. Still got a way to go though. Needs a bit more rapid bid in this one. At 10.4, 10, 10.6, 10, 10, 8, 11,000. 11, 2, 11, 4, 11, 6. At 11, 6, I'm bid 11, 8. At 11, 8, now 12,000. At 12, 2. At 12, 2, I'm bid 12, 4. Get in there. At 14, 8, 15,000. 15, 2. Straight back at you at 15,200 bid now, then at 15, 2. So it's entirely the internet at the moment bidding against each other. At 16 1, P sharp on your buttons though, please, net at 16 1. At 16 1, I'm bid now, looking for two quick anywhere, but it's at 16,116 2. Uh, frantic bidding has slowed right down, and we're just. People are thinking a bit longer now. 16,200. At 16 3, it is now going once. 16.3 it is going twice, last time gavels up at 16.3 and selling. 16.3 that's yours, thank you. 16,300 plus fees. So Ford prices have been struggling a little bit lately. 1982 Ford Capri 2.8, guided at seven to nine. I think that's a good price to guide at. I think that's achievable. Come and have a little look, Claire. So. It's gonna need some paint correction at some point if you're that way inclined. And I say that because I'm not that way inclined. I would buy a car like this, it's MOT'd. I would just jump in it and drive home. The interior is proper like 80s. Come and have a closer look, Claire, because you love this kind of two-tone, scarry oh, type wow, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a note on the seat for you, Claire, on the driver's seat. Please refrain from sitting in there. <laughs> You'd love to jump in there, wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> have you ever owned a Capri, Claire? No, I have not. I've driven triggers. Oh, you have, that's true. I have owned a Capri. It was a great car. It was great for chewing up motorway miles. I don't know if nowadays I'd choose a Capri to chew up motorway miles because I've got all sorts of modern cars doing silly things around me. But if I had to, definitely, this would be the Capri to have, the 2.8. That's like a real top of the range, proper motor. So there you have it, the 1982 Ford Capri 2.8 injection. It's guided at seven to 9,000 pound. I'd like to see it do a little bit more than that, but let's find out when it goes in front of the rostrum. I confidently predicted that this will sell, so yet again, my reputation is on the line. Let's have a look on the boards up there. 
it's already up to 7-4. Bidding hasn't started in the room yet, Jeff's just giving it a bit of a talk up. 1982, it's MOT'd until April next year again. MOT, <laughs> April next year. Does drive very well. Have a look at it, good solid car, looks well indoors, you tell me. Someone on the telephone on this somewhere? Yes. Have a look at it, I'm straight in, £7,500, there you go. This place is so busy today that they're having to do very well to spot all the bidders in the room. I've never seen it quite as busy as this. 77, 78, let's get you all in the end at 78, you bidding sir? 79, that's 79, do you want 8,000 at the back? That's seven, nine, eight thousand bid. I've got eight there, eight, one in the middle, eight, one, eight, two, eight, three. So all the bidding at the moment seems to be in the room. Nine, three, nine, four. Nine, four, only bid at five. Nine, five, the bid. It's going up lovely now. So much competition for this car. Might just do it. Ten thousand pound. There you go. Should have started there at ten thousand. Look at the car. Ten thousand pound. You want one? That 10 1 is straight back. It was worth a try. That 10 1, get 10 2. Fresh money now, 10 3. Still going. I had no idea it was going to go quite this high, but let's keep going. This is great. That 10 9, 11 on the telephone. 11 1. 11 1 back here. Thanks for letting me know at the back. Phone bidders in now. This is proper, proper bidding war, old school, this. At 11 1, it's in front. At 11 1. At 11 2 on the other phone. At 11-2, 11-3, 11-3, you're both out. At 11-3, the bid's in front. At 11-3, all done, 11-4, 11-4 here. Do you want five, 11-5? 11, five. 11 and a half thousand pounds. Oh no, it's another phone bid has just come in. 11-6, over the back phone now, 11-7. So I don't know if you can see up there, they've got two people on the phone bidding on this one. 11.8 on the telephone, 11.9, 11, 11.9, 11, you want 12? At 11.9, yes or no? At 11.9, you want 12? You're both out. At 11.9, one's away. At 11.9, goes away once. 11.9, twice, you're all done on the phones. That's your car, so you did it, heard that one. 11,900 plus fees. That went to someone in the room. Awesome. So I know a little bit about this car, this 1946, 1800 Roadster. Elton did a film of these where they were originally in the barn. You can find that on our YouTube channel and it's called Five Cars, One Finds. He came home and was so excited about the car and said it was so brilliant that I'm so glad that I've come to see this here for myself in person. So this car is in amazing condition considering it's been barn stored for over 20 years. I've got to show you this Elton, I love these doors, the way they open. But are they suicide doors or opera doors? I'm not answering that question, Claire. <laughs> Help me out here, guys. Let me know in the comments. My favourite feature of this car is the dicky seat with its own folding windscreen. Apparently, entry and exit to the dicky seat is not easy and there is a step on the rear bumper. Although, looking at it, I'm not sure that would help much. So there you have it, 1946 Triumph Roadster 1800 one of the earliest ones that were made. She's offered at no reserve. How much is she going to make at auction? Let's see. Then we go on to lot 602, the Triumph Roadster then. The 1800. Chassis number TR, the 21. First registered 1946, been stored in the dry shed for the last 20 plus years. So this is a proper barn find, this one. Triumph Roadster that we filmed for our YouTube channel. So we had to feature this one. Lovely looking car. Great story behind it. Uh, the owner was a fantastic guy. Where are we going to go with this one then? 4,200 the internet saying at 4,2. At 4,005 bid now then at 4,647. Thought this would be going quicker but no here we go. At four, four seven now. Four, four, nine, fill it up. At four nine bid. At four five thousand. Thank you, internet. At five thousand bid. Five thousand pounds now. At five thousand, it is now going once. Five thousand, it is going twice. 
Last time, internet gavels up and it's selling outright at 5,000 and done. I think that was a great buy at 5,000 pounds, to be honest. That'll be lovely when it's done up. I had to choose this Bond bug. This came from the Scottish collection. We've mentioned it before, we've put it up on our social media. You've probably seen it on the Anglia Car Auctions website and on their YouTube channel as well, where they did film all the extraction of these cars. Most people, if Claire Pan sort of left and right, were probably more interested in the Corvettes and the Jags and all the really posh, ostentatious cars. Me, instantly honed in on this. It's absolutely brilliant, I love it. I love the fact that they've kept all the bits of Scottish forest all over it still. Um, I've just been crawling underneath and inside. I don't know if I've got any stuff still on my back, possibly. It looks complete. It does look like everything's there, but do you want to come round to the passenger side, Claire, and have a look inside? What do you think, love? You'd get in there, wouldn't you? Just about, I think. No, but I mean, could I convince you to sit in there? No, probably not. <laughs> um, I've had a quick look under here with a torch. It looks like the engine's in there, but I got, I'm not going to risk. I lifted the lid up a little bit. I'm not going to risk pulling everything apart on a barn find on viewing day in front of loads of other people, even though I love you guys. Um, bond bugs, what do you think of them? And what do you think is going to happen to this one? It's the most outrageous one I've ever seen in my life. The colours are just leery. A lot of these get modified nowadays. They are super, super cool. Um, would you like to see this one restored? Would you like to see it modified? Would you buy it? Do you reckon you could do it? It will fit in a little garage. This is a great project, I think. I'm... No, I'm not tempted. <laughs> look at that, look, spoiler on there. That'll keep that down when you've got all that. Was that about six, eight hundred cc engine? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's it's for aesthetics, I'm sure. But yeah, know anyone called Remy? I did see someone tag someone called Remy when we posted pictures up on our social media. So the plate may come into play. Hasn't been taxed since the 80s. It's a massive, massive project. But I think genuinely that this will reappear again in a couple of years time somewhere. So let's see what it goes for when it goes in front of the rostrum and under the hammer. L lot 620 now. We've got the little bomb bug there, the 700 ES there, first registered 1973. You like these, Jeffrey? There we go, Where's, where are we gonna start that? The internet straight in at 9.50. I'm bid for the little bomb bug at 9.50. Love this bomb bug, it's so cool. At 950 pound it is, nice little resto, 10.50. It's got to go a lot more than that, otherwise we'll end up bidding. <laughs> At 1350, 1400, 1450, 1500, 1550 now online. 1600. So they got someone in a room bidding. That's always makes me feel good. At 1700 pound bid now in the room. At 1750. At 1750. You sure? At 1750, I'm bid now. Then at 1750. 17.50 online, so it's going to be about two. Oh no, someone's still bidding in the room. 1800, he's back in at 1800. At 1800 pound, my bid's in the room at 1800. At 1800, 1850. Thank you anyway. At 1850, I'm bid now. 1900, fresh bidder. At 1900 pound, I'm bid now. There at 1900. At 1900, this isn't Claire online, is it? At <laughs> Hope not. David just asked me if that was Claire, but she's at home. At 1950, you've had your warning gavels up for the bomb bug and it's selling then at 1950 pounds it is now and gone. There you go, 1950 plus fees. Rum, rum. Uh, Elton, are you really going to sit on that during our outro? Yeah, well, one of us has got a seat. Anyway, as you can see, we're back here in a very cold and windy and rainy Suffolk, but what a fantastic sale ACA put on for those two days. Yeah, that was a long weekend because we went up for the preview as well, didn't we? So I did three days there and back. Yeah. You did two, because what were you doing Sunday? Well, on Sunday I was watching it on the live stream, which is fantastic. I can highly recommend that. And the comment section is golden, I'm, believe me. I must go through them one day because you're always <laughs> laughing about them when I yeah, come home. But it's good fun. What, what was your like highlight of the whole weekend then? Well, the food was great. No, no. cars, Claire, cars. <laughs> I think it has to be that Jaguar barn find. I mean, what a standout. That just wasn't on our radar no. at all. Well, 
obviously it's a barn find, so we'd seen it, but we're trying to be selective and yeah. feature a few. And I saw that one going up, didn't I? That's the first time you've ever seen me move quickly, <laughs> I reckon. It was like, I've got to film this because it's a moment, isn't it? And you get yeah. that. That's why attending an auction is great fun or watching the live stream like yourself. Because yeah, you get to see these things that, that just happen like that. And I mean, I mean, I had a great time. I mean, I got this little BSA Aerial 3. Yeah. We've been after one for ages, haven't we? We this have, was a, yeah. This one, you know, did get the blessing. It did, it did. And um, for fans of the A30, you're oh, going to yes. be pleased in our next video if we can get that <laughs> one together in time, because um, maybe some news there as well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, and then I got my limo, didn't I? Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so oh. much for watching as always. And please remember to like, share and subscribe. Take care and see you soon. Oh, I guess that's goodbye.